a lot of us are being utilized as our over soul or higher selves mouthpiece down here in the physical. The integration of all of your multidimensional aspects into one popsicle suit is the goal. How many incarnations it takes to get that done is up to you and your free will. The emotional things that we have all gone through, the hoodwinking of our society and all this jazz has led us to a place where we can actually see the light at the end of the tunnel. We know what we want. We know why we want it. Um, that's freedom, sovereignty, and prosperity for every human being on this planet. They're using artificial projections because they're getting their ass whooped in the physical plane. So they're using any sort of projection they can to get any sort of loose off you, number one. Number two, a lot of the projections, which I guys told you in past videos, I caught a little gray. I uh, didn't know that my third eye was on. Caught him out of the peripheral of my eyes. As soon as I caught him, like, yo, what up, dude? he put his hand out and projected a werewolf in front of him. So what does that mean? Again, this is a consciousness battle royale. If you guys saw what these dudes really look like and you could punt them like a football, you would have zero fear of them. Moving on. Yes, we come from ancient Nephilim and angelic DNA. Get used to it. Anu is cool. The Anki and little thing. I don't know. Names, vibrations. Let's see what these guys are actually doing. These people keep flip-flopping the names. All I can tell you is that is your heart on? Yes or no? Your multidimensional aspects are crushing right now. You guys do not go into any sort of fear whatsoever. The more data computation you can process and integrate into the suit is going to be your resonance level of the type of multidimensional being character and persona you wish to be. Understand that your heart is your governor. Your inner child always has a hand on the wheel because balance is what the entire universe is utilizing us for is to find that balance. They're not used to mixing a Lyrian, a Draconian, an Anunnaki, an Arcturian, a Palladian, and a Syrian and go, let's throw them all in one popsicle suit. Let's go ahead and mix them up in a crock pot and see how they get along with each other. Listen, your heart, that Christ did heart, that Yeshua, Jesus, Yahweh heart is what we're going for. The rest of this stuff is sprinkles on your Sunday. So calm down. How would you like to be treated? What is your purpose? What is your version of abundance? And how can you help and assist your brothers and sisters and all sentient life forms on this being, including all of the animals? We are supposed to be true stewards of this planet. Start acting like it. Lots of Andromeda is coming in. Let's go, Andromeda, I love you. Hashtag uh, avatar um, is a direct reflection of Andromeda. You guys didn't know that. People are also saying that that movie Avatar is a reflection of here in the past because we did have the world tree. We did have Villarisil world trees on this planet, but they said that during the mining operations, there was a lot of things that were cut down. That's why the petrified forest, they're not petrified, they cut down trees. Variations of time are interacting with one another. The past is meeting the future and vice versa. Because all time and space is like in the Milky Way galaxy, it rotates, right? and it's in like a huge spiral or toroidal field. It's almost like beings from a long time ago and here's us right now in the present and as we're in this rotation together in time, we are beginning to meet one another Again, integrating with your higher selves is very important right now. Please pay attention to your diet, your meditation, your sun charging. I've had to sun charge the past three days just to be able to get done what I need to get done. How is your 3D incarnation? It's a daring mystery, I tell ya. It's a mystery. I don't think it's a mystery. I just think there's a lot of shrouds and vouds down here. You know what I mean? What, what am I going to experience? You're like, oh, it's going to be awesome. Let me tell you. Are you coming down here? And like, this guy's like, no, I'm going to stay up on here on ship. But I'll be sending you all kinds of downloads and I'll be your higher self. Listen, I'm up here popping berries. You go down there in the trenches and figure it out. Okay. I can tell you something honest. Any of my fellow angelics out there, when we get back together, anyone who did not come, who claims to be a warrior, we're gonna have to laugh them out of like Valhalla. Like we're gonna laugh you like, oh yeah, you didn't incarnate, you didn't come? Get out of here, there's 12 year old kids that are stronger than you, back up. You know like when something's funny before it happens, I feel like Chevy Chase, like back in his prime when he was Fletch, and there's all these one-liners on this building. They're coming, okay? You guys are gonna laugh so hard upstairs. Like that is the funniest thing I think I've ever heard. I'm like, I know. I've been working on that for a whole incarnation. Yeah, Earth Ascension 3D class, you know what I mean? Just, hey.
I think it must have like a little too much dragon mixed in us. And like, we'll laugh, then we'll chuckle. And then inside we're like, this guy can't even bench press his own body weight and he, he's telling us what to do. His body was so soft. It was like marshmallows. Could you smell them? Oh my God, the diet on these things. Yeah, I mean, I don't know. We could go forever on the comments. All I'm trying to say is believe in your heart, trust in yourself and work on thyself because we earn what we have down here, okay? Galactic Command. Listen, it's a comedy. Calm down, all right? Listen. Some of us are integrating like full-blown Syrian Sentinel stuff and it's fire and I love it. However, there is such a lack of humor. It's very, you know, you gotta have humor. Humor is healing. Humor is being these gnarly multidimensional beings, but making a joke instead of like taking an action that would be maliceful. It's way gnarlier just to spit a one-liner joke where everyone looks at the guy and then makes it goes, oh my God, that is, that's, that's pretty funny. Since we're in a consciousness war, right? The strongest of us can see all this stuff be in the middle to give the creative potential more options to adjust and truly transmute what needs to be transmuted. Transmutation, we call it comedy. There's something about when I make that comment, like all the dudes on my light side are like, ha ha ha, that's funny, but like, not really, that's not really funny. Like, I, there's something on them like, oh wait, you, you don't wanna be in the trenches and dealing with things, you're getting attacked by werewolves, you don't want to do that, are you sure? It's so much fun. We're up on stage and we're all graduating, and I'm telling you, like the last graduating class, like the shot callers, they all have the rainbow sashes. Everyone who does not have a rainbow sash, you're earning it right now. The gnarliest things you can earn. It's like you graduated the physical on earth during one of the greatest transitions ever. Transmuted the gnarliest things. It's not like you just like you have a rainbow sash. No, no, no. Where did you earn that? Earth. And they're just like, whoa, no, that they're like, what? You're like, I was there during the great transition on earth. And I earned the, you know, it's, you guys are earning the highest level. Okay. I'm just telling you when it's tough out there, I just want you to understand you guys are going for something that you, a lot of beings have not ever. <laughs> There's a lot of beings in this universe, right? What you are attempting to attain and are attaining is something so rare that a lot of beings just sit back in the bleachers and watch because they cannot understand the amount of torment that we can take and still trust our hearts, still love God, Yeshua, Jesus, the angels, anyone, you know, the highest, they still can't understand like, how can you take so much? And instead of going into fear, you just make jokes. We're here for a purpose, to balance this planet. You could have never convinced me to come here. Unless they're like, there's only one place to get that rainbow sash. And I'm like, oh, I knew it. I knew it. Where is it? Earth? Ah, in the, the heart of the multiverse? Ah, okay. You're earning it. Listen, if everyone had the same attitude about existence, we would not have beefs. We would not have fights with one another. It's when one turd or group of turds comes in here and goes, oh, we could take advantage of this. Look how undeveloped these people are. We could take advantage of them. Oh my God. Like, it's just the same story they copy and paste over and over again. It's someone taking advantage of someone else and then someone growing up through that and then replacing what took advantage of them in a superior, more balanced and divine way. I'm here for every bit of all stars there is on this planet from the core to the surface to the sky. I will help transmute what needs to be in us stood and become something far greater than I ever was before I got here. So are you, okay? It's what your higher selves are doing every single day, okay? We are becoming the key to the multiverse. We are processing and working through that right now.